What's up guys? Welcome to Making Houston Home. My name is Rennie and I'm going to be comparing the Woodlands, Texas versus Kingwood, Texas today for y'all. So not only are we going to sh am I going to show you homes priced in the $500,000 range in the Woodlands and in Kingwood so you can see what your money can buy you in these areas, but we're also going to jump into the computer. I'm going to pull up a map. I'm going to show you where the Woodlands is, where Kingwood is, I'm going to kind of show you some of the things that there are to do in these areas um, and then we're going to jump into these homes. So we're going to start in Kingwood, Texas first. Uh, I'm going to show you Kingwood, show you the homes, then we'll jump over to the Woodlands, Texas, show you what there is to do, show you these homes and that'll wrap it up. So here we go again. This is the Woodlands, Texas versus Kingwood, Texas priced in the $500,000 range. Let's get to it. All right, so here we are. Um, as you can see, I have a map pulled up. You can see Kingwood right here in that little red dotted area. Um, up to the left, top left of the screen, you can see the woodlands up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out real quick so you can kind of see the vicinity of Houston where these two areas are at. So you know, obviously you can see downtown Houston right here. You know, there's Kingwood, there's the woodlands. Uh, just for reference, you know, you got Cypress, Katy, Sugarland, Pearland, the whole south side down here as well. So today we're comparing the Woodlands and Kingwood, which are two um, kind of, I don't want to say synonymous areas, but the reason I'm doing this is because when y'all reach out to me, a lot of people that are looking in the Woodlands are also looking at Kingwood. They're very similar areas as far as topography goes. They're both very woodsy, very pretty, very family friendly, just great areas overall. And for some reason, when people reach out to me, it's almost always that if they're talking about the woodlands, they're also talking about Kingwood, or if they're focused on Kingwood, they're also open to the woodlands. So that's why I'm doing this right now. Try to give y'all as much value as I can and compare these two cities up front. So then by the time you reach out to me and we talk, you have a little bit more education on both of these areas and maybe an idea of what you like more so then another one or what you don't like compared to another one. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's go ahead and jump into it again. We're right here. Here's Kingwood. One of the first things to note because of personal experience, my wife and I moved from Orange County, California to Kingwood back in 2018. We had no friends, no family. We didn't know anybody here. We just left with our one and two year old at the time. They're now six and seven. Um, so one of the important things for us was to be close to the airport. Um, so that's one of the reasons we landed on Kingwood because we knew we were going to have family and friends coming to visit us, visit us often. So we wanted to be close to the airport. So, you know, again, just a little tidbit, a little bit of knowledge. We live in the back of Kingwood over here in this area. So it takes us about 15, 20 minutes to get to the airport. You know, if you live closer to Highway 69 in the front of Kingwood, it's a straight shot about 10 minutes to the airport, not long at all. You can see the woodlands up here is not far either. Maybe an extra 10 minutes coming from the woodlands, depending on how far, you know, into the woodlands you live, but we'll get to that. Um, and again, close vicinity to downtown. It's about 30 minutes to downtown. So if you're going to an Astros game, a Rockets game, or you're going to the zoo or anything you want to do downtown, uh, about 30 minutes. So not a bad drive. Um, and it's kind of tucked away too. So my wife and I do that often. We'll go stay downtown for a night or for a weekend um, just to kind of get away. And then we're back home in 30 minutes. So a uh, really, really great location here in Kingwood. You know, just zooming into the area real quick. Um, Kingwood's kind of, you know, you heard me say the back of Kingwood and the front of Kingwood. That's kind of how we explain where you live in Kingwood, I guess you could say. Um, so this area that kind of backs up to the lake is known as the back of Kingwood. So you have Green Tree Village, um, you have Sand Creek Village, you have Kings Point, you have a ton of different villages in here. Foster's Mill, you know, you got Bear Branch over here, you got all the different villages. And then you hear people talk about the front of Kingwood. The front of Kingwood is up here closer to Highway 69 and that has all its own villages and schools and everything else as well. So, you know, obviously from this map here you can see a big portion of Kingwood is the golf course so the clubs of Kingwood really really great amenity especially if you love golfing and to be a member of the club actually isn't too expensive one of my buddies is I'm not 
Um, I believe he told me a while ago he pays about 400 a month to be a member, which for the courses, I believe there's four courses, um, plus there's a Deerwood course. So I think there's five altogether, um, but not bad. And it's a really beautiful, beautiful golf course too. So kind of just overall, this little shopping center right here is really the hub of Kingwood. So if you live anywhere around this spot, um, you know, you got HEB, you got Chachi's Mexican restaurant, which I'm going to show you in this video, Raisin Cane's, Chick-fil-A, um, Torchy's Tacos, the HEB is right here, which is the greatest grocery store ever. <laughs> um, you know, another shopping plaza here. You have the Kingwood Town Center down here where Chachi's is, little Kingwood Town Center Park as well. I mean, just Ace Hardware, there, there's everything you could possibly need is right here in this little area. And um, we love it. Like I mentioned, we live over here in the back of Kingwood. Um, really no reason to have to leave this area. It's kind of its own little pocket, its own little bubble, and um, we love it for that reason. So um, kind of getting into some of the things about Kingwood. So niche.com is a really great resource if you're kind of researching areas or you're just trying to dive into more detail about um, what these areas are all about niche.com is a really good source for that so you know going into kingwood according to niche.com number one best neighborhood to raise a family in houston overall grade for kingwood is an a plus you can see all these different categories um, all a's and b's throughout all of them population about thirty-six thousand. as compared as i'll show you in the woodlands i believe the woodlands is somewhere around 110 120,000. median home value is about 227 um, 80% owner occupied homes versus 20% renting. Nice little map. Some of the houses for sale. Um, you know, here's some rankings here. Again, as we mentioned, number one, best neighborhood to raise a family in Houston. Uh, best neighborhood to buy a house in Houston, number eight. Best neighborhood to live in Houston, number 10. Crime and safety, A+. Plus. You know, as I mentioned, you know, about the, how Kingwood is kind of tucked away um you know there's really only two ways in and out of kingwood so there's not really too much going on which for some people is a good thing and some people is a bad thing and that's why i'm comparing kingwood and the woodlands the woodlands has much more amenities much more life going on much more accommodations there's the all kinds of stuff we'll get to that but kingwood is really a slower paced kind of family oriented city so you know you kind of see that in this rating here so residents median household income just under ninety-five thousand. you know a little bit here about um, education levels public schools kingwood is known for its public school system so a lot of young families kind of move into this area take advantage of these schools um, just overall really really great great place as you can see right here on niche.com a couple of the things i want to point out um as I was going through this, I must really want Mexican food today because three of the places I picked, I was like, oh, I want to do this. I want to do this and I want to do this. And they're all Mexican places. <laughs> so anyway, um, Kingwood Taco Shop. So uh, this is Greg. Greg is the owner. He's a great person, just fun guy. He's always in there. You go in there and he's just walking around talking to everybody. Um, really just, again, family friendly place. You come in, it's not huge. There's no bar. There's really, it's just great mexican food and you know being from southern california growing up with hispanic grandmas i'm used to authentic mexican food kingwood taco shop is probably the most authentic in my opinion and what i'm used to and what i was raised with in southern california um, probably anywhere in houston that i've tried uh, you have a lot of tex-mex here which personally i'm not a fan of but they love it here so you got to be careful who you say that around because you're liable to get in a fight if you talk bad about Tex-Mex food. Um, but to speak to just kind of authentic Mexican flavor, Kingwood Taco Shop is a really, really great place. Really good tacos, really good breakfast as well. Um, another place, another taco place. This is more of a kind of mainstream like gourmet taco. So it's not going to be like your taqueria where you're going to get um, authentic flavor. But actually really good food so you can kind of see in these pictures it's a little more fancy um, you know the place is actually very cool that's a different one this is the one here in Kingwood but you can see the bar so a lot of times we just go hang out sit at the bar you know have some food 
um, chips. Okay, so pretty much everything you want, they have margaritas, just really, really good food overall and kind of just a cool place just to go hang out. And Torchies, I mean, they're popping up everywhere. They're pretty much in any major city in Texas now. I'm not sure if they're in other states, but um, always a good spot. If you see a Torchies taco somewhere, you might as well stop in because it's going to be pretty good. This uh, Mexican place right here is called Chachi's and Chachi's is actually right in the Kingwood Town Center. So, you know, as I was talking about this specific main hub of Kingwood, you know, you have Chachi's right here in this little town center. Um, so I actually really like this area is cool because they kept kind of they've made it look like an old city vibe, I guess you can say, with the brick building, two stories, uh, really, really neat place again this is they call it mexican it really is tex-mex um, but you know we go here not too often but every once in a while we'll go here you know good margaritas decent food as long as you're with good company it doesn't really matter right you know we got friends that like to go here and enjoy this place um, you know like i said my my favorite part about chachi's is really just the the vibe of the place everything here in kingwood is very family friendly um, not great pictures of any of this stuff, but actually Chachi's got so popular, they opened up another location right next door. It's called Chachi's Next Door. And so they have a nice little patio out here. So again, just kind of a cool place just to come hang out, you know, have some good food, um, hang out with friends. And then, like I said, it's right in the Kingwood Town Center. So, you know, let me actually pull that up, show you what that looks like. Um, just to kind of give you a better idea of what I'm talking about. So, you know, you have our main town center, which again is right here at this intersection. Um, you know, kind of, here's kind of a good picture of what it looks like from the outside. But I mean, there's, it's bigger than this. So there's more buildings that attach to this, but there's a hair salon, there's a nail salon, there's um, restaurants, there's a, you know, right here, you got the New York Pizzeria, which is actually really good. We get this quite often. Um, just a ton of stuff to do there's a place where you can do pottery and paint pottery so we've taken the kids before to paint pottery and just hang out just really 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 cool place to just hang out and have fun uh, going over you know to speak to one of the breweries that's here you have the cove craft beer and wine um, this was just open maybe a year or two ago you know from the time of this recording uh, but again kind of a smaller place again Kingwood vibe is really small, family oriented. You're probably gonna see people you know here, uh, locals kind of coming, hanging out here. Um, just a good place just to go hang out, have some good beer, have some good conversation with good friends. And that's kind of what Kingwood is all about. So that's the cove there. Um, then we'll kind of jump into some of these houses. So again, we're gonna be looking at homes in the $500,000 range. Um, so you can see right here, here's Kingwood, you know, you have Sand Creek, Green Tree, the back of Kingwood here, Kings Point, uh, front of Kingwood here. Let's go ahead and check out, we'll go with this one right here at 529. So 529, this actually had a price reduction back in February of $45,000, uh, basically right under 530. Beautiful home, five bedroom, three and a half bath. 3136 square feet, uh, just about 31,000 square foot lots, a really huge lot. This one was built in 1975. Um, I've actually done a like a walk tour, a vlog tour of this home specifically. So if you want to find that, it's on my channel. You can actually see the street and see the neighborhood that this home is located in. And it's really, really pretty. You can see all the trees, great neighborhood. And this home has been completely renovated. So walking in, Nice big entryway opens up into that living room with a big fire, oversized fireplace, huge open living space. Um, going into the kitchen, which is gorgeous. It's a massive kitchen. Again, brand new everything. Brand new countertops, cabinets, um, hood range, stove, sink, the whole deal. This place is beautiful. Plus this extra little breakfast nook as well, right off the side. And then you have all of these cabinets, this storage space back there as well. So really, really gorgeous living area, master bedroom, big master bedroom, big walk-in closet, soaking tub, stand-up shower on the ensuite, double vanities. 
um, you know, another bathroom um, upstairs right here. So I believe this one actually has double vanities as well. Um, you know, shower tub combo, big game room when you go upstairs, separate laundry, and then that huge backyard. I think this one was just around 31,000 square feet lot. So you got this nice patio outside and then plenty of room to put a pool in, playground for the kids if you have kids. Um, just really, really great property here, plus this three car garage. And you can see this long driveway. So this was coming out from the street. So if you watch that video that I did on this home, the street is pretty far. It's a really big property. So you drive up here, you got your three car garage, backyard over here, really, really beautiful property. Um, you know, kind of go down here and we'll check out, you know, what a payment on something like this would be on this kind of mortgage calculator estimate. So at 20% down, you can see here with property taxes, about just under 3,800 a month with 20% down. And again, these are just estimates, obviously interest rates are changing and all that and your credit, all the kind of stuff weighs into this. So this is just kind of an estimate, 5% down. You're at just under 43, say your FHA at three and a half, you know, just about 43, 46 a month there for uh, something like that. And you're in a 2.58% tax rate right there. So coming back, we'll kind of go back to this back part of Kingwood. Um, Sand Creek is a really, really popular area. A lot of people want to be in Sand Creek. Same with Kings Point here. This one's already pending, but we'll go ahead and check it out. This is um, a beautiful, beautiful property. I love this house. So you got a pool, that awesome slide, and then you can see the curb appeal of this home. It's just gorgeous. You know, going in this kind of, I wouldn't call it a spiral staircase, but curved staircase going up, a formal living area with that fireplace, formal dining, big kitchen. So big island with that cooktop um, in the island. So you got the sink in the back there, nice cabinets, double stoves, um, just really beautiful, beautiful space. Um, another little breakfast nook here, going into the master bedroom. So you got a big master bedroom. It's got those doors that go out to that back patio with that pool back there. Uh, nice little uh, seating area. Into the bathroom, you have separate vanities, so separate sinks, big stand-up shower, nice soaking tub. Uh, looks like they got a media room as well, a uh, workout room, little gym up there, uh, another full bathroom, stand-up shower, you know, all these built-ins when you come up those stairs. Just overall a beautiful, beautiful home. And then, you know, to top it off, you go into that backyard, you got a covered patio, that beautiful pool. Um, looks like an outdoor kitchen as well with that built-in grill. Just great property here. And you can see this picture, it is a corner lot. Uh, so you got this nice driveway, plus you have this driveway back here that goes into the garage. So a ton of space, really gorgeous property overall right there. And again, that was priced at uh, $587.5. It's already under contract, but I at least wanted to show you that home. Kind of run some numbers on it as well. And uh, we'll check out the school. So you got B for elementary, A for middle, A for high school. You know, 20% down on something at that price. Uh, looking about 4,200 estimated. Again, say you're conventional, you do 5%, 47. Um, FHA at three and a half, you know, 4,800 on something like that. So really, really beautiful, beautiful home there. And then we'll kind of get back here into um, Kings Point. You know, this one looks pretty nice here, priced at 569. 569, this was just listed, we'll call it 570, four bedroom, three and a half bath, about 3,300 square feet, almost 11,000 square foot lot, really big lot, built in 1988. So as you can see, um, this is kind of a, a really popular thing in Kingwood. You're gonna see these long driveways with garages in the back. Um, and moving from Southern California, we never really thought too much about it, but this is how our home is set up too. Our garage is actually in the back of our house. It's really cool, especially if you have kids, you don't really have, you can open the garage up and let them run around and play. You don't really have to worry about cars flying down the street or them running out into the street because they're far enough away uh, where they're just kind of just playing in the back, really. Um, and then great for entertaining too. So if you have friends over, you can fit, you know, seven, eight cars in this driveway. You don't have to line the street with vehicles. 
Uh, it's really actually really cool, and you see that a lot in Kingwood. So just to point that out, you know, walking into this home, you can see this big open entryway, really pretty. You got formal dining off to the right. Um, probably this is a private office here off to the left. Um, really, really pretty. So yeah, you can see that this is the front entry, formal dining, that office back there. Then right off the formal dining, you step into this kitchen. You got a little breakfast nook over here, living area, fireplace, big island with that cooktop in the middle. Um, beautiful home with these gorgeous stairs. I like that railing going up there and then how it's open up there. You can kind of look down onto the living space. Really, really pretty home here. Going into the master, um, you can see this wine area here, wine fridge with these shelves as well. Master bedroom, good size master bedroom, big, big uh, master bath. You can see the high ceiling in there too. That's really pretty. Um, big soaking tub, stand up shower, uh, double vanities here, double sinks. Man, that's a beautiful, beautiful bathroom. Um, you know, kind of going up the stairs, as I mentioned, it's open. You can look down to that living space. Game room upstairs, a few more bedrooms, plus those other two bathrooms, separate laundry, and then going out to the backyard. Again, beautiful. You have kind of this little covered breezeway here. So if you park in the garage, that's actually a pretty popular thing here too. You can park in the garage. Since it rains a lot here, it's actually covered going into your home, into the kitchen. So you don't got to deal with the rain, which is great. Plus this great pool. Um, still kind of have yard space back here behind the garage as well. Um, and just kind of looking back, really pretty landscaped already. Pretty much moving ready, beautiful home right there. And again, that one's priced at, we'll call it 570. Um, just kind of a little mortgage estimate again at 20% down, just under 4,100. You know, we'll say you do 5% down, you're about 4,600 there. That's with taxes included. Obviously, you know, things are different there. That's just an estimate to give you a rough idea of what you're looking at. Um, that's really it. We did three, right? Yeah, one, two, three. That's three homes there in Kingwood. Um, kind of go back to this map, this overall view of Kingwood. You know, there it is one more time. Downtown, the airport, Kingwood, the Woodlands. Let's go ahead and jump over into the Woodlands um, and then see what the Woodlands has to offer. So, you know, as I just showed you, here's the Woodlands. And again, as I mentioned, the Woodlands has a ton of stuff to do and it's all right there at your fingertips. So if you want to have everything right there where you are, kind of more of a, a vibey city, I guess you could say. I don't know what the right word is, but a lot of stuff to do. So right here is the Woodlands Mall, Market Street, Cynthia Woods Pavilion, which is where concerts are held, Children's Museum, um, George Mitchell Preserve, Texas Tree Ventures. There's... I mean, the list goes on Woodlands Resort, which is awesome. And then restaurants pretty much all up and down I-45, plus all the restaurants at the mall. There's just a ton of stuff to do here in the Woodlands. My wife and I actually spend a lot of time in the Woodlands. Um, going over to niche.com, again, a great source to check out these areas and see what other people and how these areas are being scored. So the Woodlands, number one best city to buy a house in America. Again, overall A plus grade, all A and B ratings here. Population 115,716. So again, it's about three times what Kingwood is. But as I mentioned, it's a bigger city, more people, more things to do. A really highly sought after area. Median home value about 390. So you saw Kingwood was in the 200s. Owner, ownership, home owner, occupied home 73%, renting 27 um, here's some of the rankings here. Best city to buy a house in America, number one. Best city to raise a family in America, number two. Best city to live in America, number three. So great rankings there in the Woodlands. Um, and then great schools. The Woodlands, as with Kingwood, is known for its public school system. So really, really great schools. Um, just Texas in general is actually known for its public school systems. Really awesome schools here. A little bit about uh, people that live here. So jobs, median household income right there about 130. Um, that pretty much sums up all this niche.com stuff, but overall a plus beautiful area to live. Um, some of the things I want to point out here, you know, if you're a golfer, you know, I did mention the Kingwood country club here, you have the Woodlands country club. So as you can see in some of these pictures, it is a beautiful place. If you're a golfer, you have 
to check out this place. Even if you just come visit to look and you don't end up moving here, if you just come visit, you gotta play these courses. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see all the water features, just really, really awesome place there. And then it's kind of centrally located, like right in the middle of the woodlands too. So um, you kind of get around here and there, go to the mall, go check out all the other stuff the woodlands has to offer and get around to golfing as well. Another place, Perry Steakhouse. My wife and I have been here one time in the five years we've been here, <laughs> but it was really good and it's a really cool place. We usually sit at the bar because we like to have a few drinks when we go out. So, you know, we sit at the bar, hang out. You can eat there, get some good drinks. You know, obviously it's more of a sit down upscale restaurant so really really great food overall just a great place to go uh go hang out for a night out for a date night whatever it may be perry steakhouse is awesome and going over the last thing i kind of want to show you in the woodlands and i'll go back to the map and kind of just point out some other things to do because there is a ton of stuff cynthia woods pavilion um, this is kind of the concert hall. So if you're from Southern California, from L.A., like I am, um, you know, we had the Hollywood Bowl out there. I would go to concerts at the Hollywood Bowl. This is very similar to the Hollywood Bowl. So, you know, you can see up here where it's uncovered is just like a giant grass area. Um, and then down here where it's covered um, is where all the seats are. So, you know, kind of a better picture of that. That's kind of small, but, um, you know, really, really cool place. To go see a concert we went and saw chris stapleton back in october of last year with a few friends that just moved from orange county out to um, tyler which is about an hour and a half outside of dallas um, they came down to houston and we just hung out had a good time went to the concert you can see a little better here you have this big grass area um, and then the covered seated area so you know it does rain a lot here in houston <laughs> so if you're going to a concert it is covered if you have seats but if you're planning on sitting in the grass, you might want to plan on staying home if it's raining. Uh, you know, and then kind of going back to where this Woodlands map go, we can go back to this country club and then just pull up the Woodlands. <clears throat> Here we go. So again, you know, there's the Woodlands and just one more time kind of pointing out everything that there is to do you know you got the mall here you got market street that's where the pavilion is you got the waterway which is really awesome um whiskey cakes a great restaurant um, dave and buster's papa dough papa dough is actually a really really good seafood restaurant so if you like seafood papa dough and there's actually papa doughs like everywhere in houston so really good option there um let's go ahead and check out some of these houses in the woodlands in the 500s so as you can see, you know, a lot of these are already pending. This yellow means pending, green means it's active. Um, you know, we'll go ahead and just start right here at this one. This is a four bedroom, two full bathroom, two half bath, about just under 2,800 square feet, about 10,000 square foot lot. Um, looks like a three car garage, nice little entryway here. And as you can see, uh, could definitely use some updating. Um, it actually is a big kitchen, big island, nice little breakfast nook off to the side. Looks like formal dining right here. Um, big master bath, walk-in closet. Uh, definitely could use some updating on this home, but again, that's priced at $520 um, right here in the woodland. So really, actually, it's a very, very great area that home if it was remodeled redone probably be pushing mid 600s in that area so just to kind of give you a little reference there kind of go back to this side so this one was a what was that so it's a four bedroom three full bathroom uh, just under 2900 square feet 9600 square foot lot you know check this house out Again, nice curb appeal, nice brick home, two car garage, um, landscaped, really big backyard. I like this big um, deck up here that overlooks the yard on that second level. Uh, the yard kind of extends off to this side as well. So if you ever wanted to put a pool in or do anything back there, great for entertaining. Covered patio in the back. You know, coming into this house, looks like a formal living area or slash office flex space there. Um, 
main living area back there kitchen you know, a lot of cabinet space little island here breakfast nook fireplace in the living room going into what this is looks like the master bedroom here yeah that's the master bedroom um, his and her closets you know you got a big soaking tub uh, sink there looks like a stand-up shower as well so actually double sinks double sink stand-up shower soaking tub big game room upstairs on that second floor uh, looks like uh, you got these bedrooms that actually go out to that um, that wooded deck back there overlooking the backyard plus another full bathroom upstairs as well so again nice home there priced at $549 um, you know kind of just looking at a payment on something like that Come down here maybe look at these school ratings as well so all a rated schools again the woodlands is known for its schools so kind of a estimated mortgage 20 percent down around 37.50 you know let's say you're conventional with five percent down 42.67 and we'll check out um kind of come down here or actually we just looked at that one. Let's check this one out here at 529, kind of on that lower end of the 500s. Four bedroom, two and a half bath, just under 2,900 square feet, 7,200 square foot lot. Um, check this out. Obviously, you can see it's been completely renovated recently. Um, I actually like these high ceilings and that game room up there overlooks this living area. Uh, pretty good sized kitchen. Um, nice little island here coming off that kitchen as well so you can put some bar stools there and a great area for entertaining master bedroom here and then obviously you can see this master ensuite has been completely remodeled double sinks a uh, nice soaking tub all marble uh, stand-up shower as well separate laundry area see that game room upstairs um, Nice curb appeal too, very pretty home. Um, I like the colors that they chose here. It works well with that brick. Plus you got that little front patio there. Um, nice size yards. You can see these little built-in um, gardens that they have, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, nice well-kept yard, little covered patio here, uh, fire pit. Um, overall, really, really solid property here. And that one again was priced at 529. So 529 built in 2009. So a newer home, you know, most of these homes in the area are going to be 70s, 80s. Um, you know, coming down here, check out some school ratings. You know, A elementary, B, B for middle and high school. Payment, estimated payment, 20% down, about 37.43. Again, we'll go down to 5%. Get that back up here. You know, going down to, we'll call it 5% on conventional, 42.40. Even go down further at FHA, 3.5, about 42.90. Um, tax rate, 2.47. Again, so, you know, you can kind of see what your money in this price range can buy you in the Woodlands versus Kingwood, Texas. Again, that's what this whole video is about. I'll kind of end it just back here on this map. Again, this overall view of downtown Houston, there's the Woodlands, there's Kingwood, Texas, there's the airport. And again, you can see in this video what you can buy in Kingwood, Texas versus what you can buy in the Woodlands, Texas in the $500,000 range. And then you can also see what these different cities have to offer. So obviously you just saw plenty more to do in the Woodlands. All the amenities right there at your fingertips. So if you want kind of that more hustle and bustle of life and you like living near a lot of things to do that's a great option for you going over to kingwood there is stuff to do it's not like it's in the middle of nowhere it's in a city it's its own little city uh smaller places not real there's no attraction so a lot of people aren't just coming to kingwood to hang out or go to concerts or do anything like that uh, so really more of a slow paced town very family friendly which the woodlands is family friendly too um, but you know, just kind of showing you the vibe of each town and comparing these two cities. So, you know, with all that said, we could end it there. Um, again, that was Kingwood, Texas compared to the Woodlands, Texas. I hope you got some value out of that video. 
Um, as somebody that moved here myself back in 2018 with my wife and our kids who were one and two at the time, it was a crazy move. We drove here, which was a mistake, <laughs> but you know, we love it here. Um, we live in Kingwood. We love the entire area. We spend a lot of time in the woodlands because we go up there to hang out and, you know, do whatever we want to do. And then we come back to Kingwood where it's a little more quiet, a little more family friendly. Um, just really, really love the entire north side of Houston, honestly. Uh, just great area. And all around Houston, there's beautiful suburbs in every single part of this city. Houston is just a great area. So, um, you know, with all that said, hope I was able to give you some value. If I was, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell. The bell will make sure you're notified when my videos come out. Um, I do videos like this often where I'm trying to give you value and help you understand these different areas. Um, so I appreciate you for joining me. Um, reach out if you have any questions. All that information below is my personal info. So when you call, you text, you schedule a Zoom, whatever you do, I am the one answering you. I'm the one responding. I'm the one working with you through these transactions, helping you make this move here to Houston as easy and stress-free as possible. Um, so that's it. I'll stop it there. Um, I appreciate y'all. God bless you. I'll see you on the next one.